a Jets report that has nothing to do with quarterback. Thumbs up on the video if you appreciate that in and of itself. This one's coming from Rich Samini. He mentioned it on his podcast, and he said that the Jets are not going to bring back Braxton Berrios on his current contract. Not happening. He will have to take a pay cut or maybe extend him to get his cap number way down, or they will release the punt returner, kick returner, depth wide receiver, and save $5 million off the cap. I think... This one, to me, I put Braxton Berrios and Jordan Whitehead in a similar camp. There are two guys who had really good 2021s, Braxton for the Jets, Whitehead for the Bucks, and they just regressed in 2022 significantly. But they're both in their prime, and they're both durable. And I think that if you give them both a tweaked contract that gets their cap number down, I'd like them both to be Jets again in 2023. With Berrios, all pro special teamer in 2021, was our like wide receiver one down the stretch in the, in the Tampa game with Zach out there with no weapons and, and held up pretty well. So if we can get the middle of that, I think that would be worth, you know, four, five million a year, but not the money he's due to make this upcoming season. With Jordan Whitehead, I would put him in a similar boat, not a $10 million safety, but durable and young. And if you want to chop that cap number in half and have him be here a couple more years, I'm good with that on those two, Berrios and Whitehead. Hey, what other Jets are going to stay, come, get extended? Me and Paul Boy Green talked about that. I'll see you down there in that one, and we'll talk ball soon.